Good evening. First tonight, counting the cost of counting on Carillion. The fallout in the East Midlands from the collapse of a corporate giant. It was a business with fingers in a lot of pies. A private company which was given contracts to build and run schools, hospitals, prisons and even transport infrastructure like HS2. Well, Michael Sullivan is at the Queen's Medical Centre in Nottingham for us now. It's just one place amongst many where Carillion has contracts, Mike. That's right, Sam. The reason I'm here is because back in 2014, Carillion signed a £200 million five-year deal with the QMC and the City Hospitals NHS Trust, the trust that runs those hospitals, to cover catering, cleaning and laundry as well. In November 2016, though, the Trust revealed it was in talks with Carillion about a managed exit from those uh, contracts following complaints about cleanliness. Uh, Health Watch complained that uh, patients' lives were at risk. By last April, around 1,500 Carillion employees were transferred to the NHS at the QMC and at the City Hospital, but Carillion still provides car parking and traffic management. Uh, the Trust told us it is now reviewing uh, that uh, arrangement and that they continue to work in partnership with the on-site Carillion management uh, team to deliver the service and as such, they say they can reassure pa patients, visitors and staff that there'll be no disruption in the running of these services. But it's not only hospitals that are affected. This afternoon, I went to the new £12 million David Nieper Academy in Alfreton in Derbyshire, where landscaping of the grounds has now been abandoned by subcontractors unaware of what's happening. They're all in shock because it was only this morning that this news of Carillion going bankrupt has happened. They were on conference calls trying to find out who would, who would pay them, whether they should stay here for today or whether they should leave for today. But in the interest of the children, in the interest of the education and continuity, we must keep it going. Well, uh, in transport, Carillion was part of a joint venture to upgrade the Midland Main Line to help electrify it. That's a £1 billion contract, also involved in HS2 as well. Carillion was a big part of the first tram lines being uh, laid in Nottingham. It took on the risk of construction delays and in 2003 ran up a £10 million loss. Now, the knock-on effect of the collapse of Carillion is a cause of concern for the region's Chamber of Commerce. There will be lots of small and medium-sized businesses that, that may be working in construction or engineering and have been, uh, been having contracts with Carillion. They'll be very concerned. Uh, they need to have uh, some assurances from government very quickly about the future of those contracts. If they're going to be given elsewhere, they need to know that, that they will keep the work. They'll also need to know how they'll get paid. Well, joining me now from the Nottinghamshire and uh, Nottingham City branch of the Keep NHS Public uh, campaign is Mike Scott. Good evening, Mike. Mike, Hi. how surprised are you at the collapse of Carillion? Well, I think it's something that's going to, that's been coming for some time. It's, Carillion is a bit like a balloon and it's getting, it's been getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and eventually it was going to go bang and today's the day it's gone bang. And, and should local firms now be able to step in to, to pick up the pieces, do you think? Well, I th hopefully that won't be necessary because a lot of the Car Carillion contracts are with uh, public sector and our view is that the public sector organisations should simply take back those workers and those contracts and in-house. In and that Very quickly though, what about, what about reform of the whole thing? Well, absolutely. I think that's really very, you know, absolutely necessary and it should have happened a long time ago. There's been this mantra for many years that of, of public bad and private good. That's now been shown to be absolutely wrong and it's about time, I think, that, that, that public sector contracts were kept within the public sector. Okay, well, well the government says, of course, that it is uh, working hard to overcome these problems with Carillion, but uh, as yet, no sign of when that landscaping work uh, will resume at the school in Alfreton. All right, Michael Sullivan, uh, thank you.